Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, this is a bookshelf reorganization video. So as you can probably tell behind me, I have a shelf that is quite empty. I did get a new bookshelf to add on to my other bookshelves. I got it a couple of days ago, but in one of my recent vlogs, I talked about the story of what happened with it. Pretty much these Billy bookshelves come with a height extension unit and we got the wrong color. We did not get white, we got brown. So we're taking a trip back to Ikea today to get the correct color, which I will take you guys with me. And then I need to get it mounted to the wall and everything like that. So the organization is probably not going to start for me until tomorrow or Monday but I just wanted to give a little intro to this video before I take you guys along with me today. This is what the situation is looking like. It's just not the same height as my other shelves. My shelves are absolutely massive like I can't even reach the top of them. Pretty much just adding a fourth bookshelf or third big bookshelf because like that little middle one I wouldn't even really count as a bookshelf because it's more of like a display but yeah I am adding another bookshelf because I'm just running out of space. But yeah that's my little intro for now. I will be taking you guys along with me today hopefully they let me just switch the color really easily because I don't want to like buy a new one and you know they don't accept the return but we didn't even completely open the box and I have the receipt so it should be fine <laughs> Hey guys, it is now Sunday. Obviously, I took you guys with me yesterday to get the new height extension unit. They swapped it very, very easily, which I was so grateful for because I was so nervous that they weren't going to let me swap it. I was also going to wait until Monday to film this video and film the reorganization, especially because it's so dark today, like because it's like really overcast and rainy outside and half of my window is now blocked off. It's quite dark but by the looks of the camera it looks like it's bringing in a lot of light so that's very good but yeah it means that I can start my reorganization today I have books absolutely everywhere and to be completely honest I have no idea how I'm going to start this organization I've got no plan because obviously I'm going to have a lot of bookshelves that are like more empty I'm thinking that this spot in particular is going to be like a filming spot for TikTok and YouTube so I really want to make sure that these shelves at the bottom look really nice and aesthetic for my videos so pretty much I think I'm going to start with the middle shelf like the little display shelf in the middle so I'm gonna put like my favorite series and just really really pretty books on there and then once I'm finished that I think I'm gonna start from the top of the shelves to the bottom so I will put books at the top that I will not really reach for like books that I'm not really that interested in reading yet and then as I go down the books will get like more aesthetically pleasing if that makes sense I'll probably try to put like genres together authors together sometimes that's hard because like the same author might write multiple genres and then it kind of is hard to keep them in genres but I'm gonna do my best and I'm gonna take you guys along with me to try to like plan how I'm gonna do this. Okay guys so I'm gonna start with all of these classic books because I have all of these really really beautiful classic books that I kind of want to display on one of the middle shelves on that little corner. Wait there's some books in here that shouldn't be as part of this stack. Oopsies. Anyway I think these are what I'm gonna start with. I don't know if they're all gonna fit on one of the middle shelves but we'll see how I go. And I'm gonna put a little video on the screen of what my floor is looking like around me because it is an absolute mess and this isn't even all of my books. There's books everywhere outside of the room as well. Yeah this is gonna take me a really really long time. I'm actually gonna see how long it's gonna take me. I'll probably forget to check in at the end but it is 10 47 a.m right now. I feel like it's gonna take me a few hours so we'll see when I finish this if I remember. Okay so I'm thinking to do like this slide kind of center one right here and then I also have a bunch of special editions so I'm probably gonna do like special editions classics because they will look really pretty. I've also got a few poem books here which I'm not going to include in this shelf because it just doesn't really make sense. I'm gonna start with these ones. Actually, I forgot something. I have a bunch of moisture absorbers from Kmart because apparently books can get moldy and I do not want that happening. So I'm going to put these hidden behind some of the books just because I feel like that's going to be the place where they're the most hidden. I've had these for quite a while, but there's no liquid in them yet. But I have had these before and they've like half filled up with liquid out of the air and it made me feel sick, but at least they work. Okay, I'm going to do my special edition shelf next, but I am going to be listening to an audiobook, So you're just going to see a bit of a sped up sort of thing because I'm also filming a reading vlog at the moment and I need to get some hours done today. It will already be up on my channel. It's swapping my screen time for reading, which means, yeah, it's going to be just some audio on top of this. Mm -hmm. 
I'm like obsessed with so far. Okay, they are the only ones that I know at the top of my head that I want on that center part. So I'm going to start with the actual bookshelves. Now, I have no idea where to start. I really don't. I think I'm just going to start sort of making different shelves for different genres. So for example, I might have fantasy going along this whole shelf. I kind of want them to like match with the shelves next to them as well, if that makes any sense. So I think I'm just going to start putting different genres in different areas and then just see if I start liking them. And then I will check in with you guys when I have an actual update of how I'm going to organize it because this is like really overwhelming right now. I've done a little bit more and I'm kind of like getting a feel of how I want it. Okay, so these two shelves all the way along are going to be romance books. And I don't know if I'm going to need a third shelf, but if I do, it will be the one above. It will not be the one under because obviously I'm making that fantasy. Along here, I'm going to kind of put like iconic series. So we have Harry Potter, Twilight. I'll put like the Hunger Games, Divergent, like those kind of series together. And then we have all of my fantasies along here. I think I will end up filling up almost two shelves for fantasies slash like sci-fi so I'll be doing the underneath one as well. I want the bottom bottom shelf to be like one of the most aesthetic ones so I think I'm going to move all of them down one shelf. So it's still going to be the exact same order, they're just all going to be moved down one shelf if that makes any sense. Okay, I feel like that makes a lot more sense. So now the bottom shelf will just be filled with more fantasies because I'm definitely going to have a lot more fantasy slash sci-fi books. And obviously there's going to be quite a few gaps in the shelves anyway because I'm pretty much adding like another four or five empty shelves. So I kind of want it to be spacious in some spots anyway. But I'll probably try to keep this side more spacious because as I said, I'll be filming down here. So I kind of want that to look as full as possible. I'm really, really liking how it's looking so far. So I'm just going to keep doing it while listening to my audiobook. Okay, so I've been doing it for an hour now and I'm going to show you guys what each shelf is. It's taken me a lot longer than I expected to be honest because there's still a lot of books to go and still a lot of space. So I'm definitely going to have to get some like little decor items and stuff to fill up gaps. So I don't know if it's going to be 100% complete today, but we will see. So pretty much along this whole shelf and then the one at the bottom that is all fantasy slash like sci-fi books, which I'm obsessed with. I love having them at the bottom because I feel like I reach for them quite often. And then the next two shelves are going to be all romance. That is my favorite because it has the Boys of Tom and series and the Magnolia Park series, which are my two favorite series ever. And then I kind of have this like third shelf area with dark romances and that will probably stay to there because I don't have that many. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with the excess yet, depending on how many romances I have left. On this shelf, I'm kind of going to do like a thriller slash mystery. So I feel like that will go quite far. I'm not sure if I'll be able to fit them all in that section. And then over here, I kind of have like YA mystery thrillers. I have like Jennifer Lynn Barnes and Holly Jackson sort of books. Don't know how many I'm going to have there either. So I don't think I will fill that up. But yeah, I'm really, really liking how it's turning out so far. As I said, it's taken me a lot longer than I expected. But I just love the whole like wraparound look. Like I know it's covering half of my window. Window, but I just love how it's going around the room because it makes it feel much more like a library And I'm actually gonna count my books at the end because I actually have no idea how many I have But I know that it's okay. Yeah, so I'm about to go downstairs and eat something because I haven't eaten today And I'm starting to feel a little bit nauseous and dizzy But I thought I'd show you more in depth what I've done so far just so it makes a little bit more sense with the other genres I don't even know what to call this genre, but these are like my Alice Oseman books So they're kind of like general fiction, but they're also like YA romance. I don't really know Yeah, they're just gonna stay there for now because I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to keep them there or not. And then over here we've kind of got like more general fiction slash literary fictions. I know some of Taylor Jenkins Reid's books are more romances but I wanted to keep all of her books together and some of her books are more like general fiction I would say. And then over here I have more literary fictions like I kind of have A Little Life, I have Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow, some Frederick Backman books which I have not read yet but I really want to. So I feel like all of these books kind of like sit under the same category and I thought that I'd leave them on sort of like a lower shelf because I do want to like read books like this more often I just never see myself like gravitating towards them I would say I probably have about 80 to 100 books left to fit on the shelves Some of them I'm definitely going to get rid of and donate because I know that I'll never read them Which I will go through at the end, but yeah, I think it's going pretty well I just need to take a little break so I can like think about it a little bit more when I go downstairs <laughs> Okay, I 
I've finished putting all the books into the shelves but before I kind of go through them a little bit I will do like a proper bookshop tour I'm going to show you guys all the books that I'm going to either donate or sell I'll probably be donating most of these but a lot of them are like completely brand new the first is the If Love series by Anna Huang I bought these myself but I just cannot imagine myself reading them now I know I loved the Twisted series but that was like two years ago and now when I look back to that series I don't think I would like it now and I've heard that this series just isn't that great Beautiful Disaster by Jamie Maguire just absolutely hated this so I don't really care about having the physical copy hard covers of they both die at the end and the first to die at the end I read this one when I first got back into reading and loved it all the bright places by Jennifer Niven had this on my TBR for a long time don't think I'll ever get to it I have some E Lockhart books I have we were liars and family of liars I did like we were liars when I read it but again I don't think I would like it now and I just never cared about going into the second book and then this one I just have no interest in reading and I think I bought it secondhand to begin with this poison heart by Kaylin Bayron again it's been on my TBR for a while I don't think I'll read it. A Brush With Love by Maisie Edding. This does look like a cute little romance but I just have so many romances on my shelves already and there's so many more on my shelves that I would be more interested in reading rather than this. Tonight I Burn by Catherine J. Adams. Only getting rid of this because I ended up having two copies of it. Okay I'm gonna go through the rest of them quickly because there's actually quite a few to get through. So we have Five Feet Apart, Paper Towns, The Words We Keep, the first book in the Bridgerton series, The Maid, Everyone in My Family Has Killed Someone, The Misses by E. L. James, The Replacement why and a million kisses in your lifetime which i believe is the lancaster prep series i've just heard way too many negative things about this series as a whole and i don't think that i will ever persuade myself to read this I just realized i have a whole other stack of books i'm going to donate let me just grab them quickly i sorted these ones out the other day so i forgot about them but i have maybe someday and maybe not by colleen hoover heart bones by colleen hoover business or pleasure you and me on vacation just because i have the people we meet on vacation cover margot mertz takes it down no show by beth o'leary if you know how much i hate of this book you know and then the 50 shades of gray series i just know that i'm never going to read this i have quite a few books that i'm going to donate it definitely made some extra space on the shelves as well but now that i've gone through those i'm going to go through the shelves quickly but look forward to a proper bookshelf tour that will be more in depth because i'm kind of just going to go over them very quickly in this video okay so here is an overview of what they look like i feel like it took up a lot more space than i imagined like they are like pretty much completely full so to go over them quickly over here i've got like a bunch of books that i've been sense so they're kind of like random genres I've just kept them together because I want to read them at some point. Over here is kind of like an addition to like the general fiction from down here because obviously I did not have enough space here so I just kind of went up there a little bit. This is not organized perfectly I'll definitely change some things in here as I move things around and everything but it's just pretty good for now. Up there is like my crystal books, up there is the non-fiction books that I said earlier these are all like mystery slash thrillers which is one of my like favorite genres but the shelf itself doesn't look very aesthetic just because those books don't look aesthetic we have dark romance and then along this whole shelf we have more like regular romances i've also added some little sunny angels here as well which looks so cute wow i am not going in order at all okay the next shelf is these are like all christmas sort of romance books so i kind of like left them all together on the side just so they're out of the way and then again it's just a bunch of different romances along the whole shelf this is my favorite romance shelf, as I said earlier. Then, so we have dark romance, we have like general fiction, and then over here, this kind of ended up being like another little romance shelf. There's a lot of books here that I'm contemplating donating, but I'm not entirely sure yet. And then the bottom two shelves are literally all like fantasy, dystopian, sci-fi sort of books, which I absolutely love. I love that they're like easily accessible on the bottom shelf as well. Then I've got some more sunny angels there my Taylor Swift eras to her bracelets. Oh yes, and then for the middle, this is what I ended up doing. So I did the Shadow Me series at the bottom. Then I did the Crescent City series next to the rest of Sarah J Mass's books. I'm only finishing the Akatar series now. As I said, I'm listening to the audiobook for the last one today, but I will get to those eventually. I just think they're really pretty and deserve to be on display. Then these are all my sprayed edge books. So I just keep them facing outwards like that. The really, really pretty classic books I have, my two hard covers of Divine Rivals because I absolutely loved that book. The Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy and then my paperback classics because I wasn't really sure where to put those otherwise. And then up there I have my little Taylor Swift book as well. But yeah I believe that sums up everything. I love this filming position like I literally look like I'm surrounded with books and I love it like this is the biggest vibe ever. I definitely need to organize this room a little bit more because like my desk and like this little chair seating thing I have in here are kind of just pushed against the wall right now so I definitely need to sort out the rest of the room today but because that will be more considered a tour I will do like a 
whole like library room tour when I do my bookshelf tour. But yeah, I'm really hoping that this video turns out how I'm expecting it to. I feel like I didn't speak as much as I wanted to just because I was very overwhelmed with organizing. With all of that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one.